street fighting, air attacks and shelling. This video footage uploaded to social media on Monday appears to show the scale of destruction to the Yarmouk refugee camp near Damascus in Syria. Islamic State militants were trying to keep their hold on the camp on Monday after three days of clashes that have seen the terror group make its biggest assault yet into the Syrian capital. Some civilians have been evacuated from the camp, but there are said to still be about 18,000 people living there, a mixture of Palestinians and Syrians. The UN Security Council has now said it would look at how to help the 18,000 still in the camp, suggesting it may consider measures to evacuate. It has called for aid access to Yarmouk and for safe passage and evacuation of civilians. Now, of course, all of this has been turned upside down by the escalation of conflict. Currently, it is simply too dangerous to access Yarmouk and even the distribution points that we had previously. And therefore, this, is, this explains why we have, on the one hand, a call on parties to uh, cease hostilities that put civilians in danger, but of course that would also mean that would enable humanitarian assistance to start again, and we are, as I said, prepared to do that. Messages simply have to be passed to all of the parties, and I think also now of the armed groups inside Yarmouk, that respect for life is a, an element that is not only in international law, it is also uh, something that is a fundamental human principle and that is found, by the way, also in all religions, that uh, people who are detained should be treated well, that civilians, particular women and children, should be respected. Yarmouk was home to half a million Palestinians before the Syrian conflict began in 2011. The war has killed 220,000 and displaced millions of people.